In this video, I'm going to be talking about something interesting that you may not have known. In fact, it took me a while to realize it, but I was on holiday for like two weeks, so so I do kind of like, you know, have like a, a get out of jail free card. But Cinderace and Charizard are not the only forms of their lines that you can get. You are in fact able to get yourself a Charmander from the Charizard line just by having the Charizard that you caught from the event. But you can also get yourself a Score Bunny from the Cinderace line. So if you want to go ahead and do that and send it to other people, even Shiny Hunt, those various Pokemons to have like a, a Shiny Cinderace or a Shiny Charizard, this is how you do it. So first off, you need Charizard and Cinderace both in your party, and then you're going to go ahead and add a Ditto. So I'm going to go ahead and add this Masuda Ditto, which is a foreign language from what my game is. I This is CHT. I don't know. Somebody told me what it was previously, but I can't remember. It wasn't, wasn't something super common. And it also has six best IVs, which is really cool too. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our party and we're going to go ahead and make it a picnic again. All right. So they're in the party. Let's go ahead and talk to the, the table. Yes, because you can talk to tables, Con Con. And we're going to go ahead and make sandwich number 17, the great peanut butter sandwich with a silver pen. This is obviously just to get egg power level 2 so that the eggs are given to us a lot faster. All we have to put on are three pieces of banana, which doesn't seem like my kind of sandwich. I'm not going to lie. This seems kind of gross. Ah, you don't need the bread. Who cares about bread? And I can put that there. And there you go. Egg power level 2, as you can tell from the top right corner over there. All right, cool. So now we are going to basically just AFK. This one's going to be sleeping with Ditto. That one's going to be sleeping with Ditto. Ditto's going to be sleeping with Ditto. Everybody's sleeping with Ditto, dude. This is a ditto. This game is all about getting in your ditto. <laughs> Jeez. And now we're just going to go ahead and wait a few minutes for the eggs to spawn. Do click the like button if this is helping you. Now they're all asleep and I hate the idea that the fact that they're sleeping after a sandwich and they're making eggs means that they're doing something else while sleeping, guys. Oh, damn, I whistled and they all woke up. I'm sorry, guys. Everybody go back to sleep. Get back to egg making. All right, let's go back to the basket over here and we're going to see what's inside the basket. There's an egg. One... A two, three eggs. There are four eggs. Four eggs only. That's okay. We just need four eggs. I, I don't want to go all the way to ten. Ten is the maximum. We're going to stop there with four eggs. That means we're probably going to get two Cinderace, two Charizard. If my math is correct, though. Sometimes certain Pokemon breed faster than other ones, which is kind of weird. Okay, so we're going to go to our boxes over here. We are going to go ahead and put this Ditto down. And we're going to put Carcol that has the ability Flame Body, which helps us hatch the eggs faster. And we're going to put this in our party over here. And we're going to move Charizard out and Cinderace out. So once you've moved Cinderace and Charizard out of your party, you can go ahead and keep the Carcol there with Flame Body or another Pokemon that knows Flame Body or Magma Armor or there is another one. I forget what it is. That basically help you hatch the eggs faster. So we're going to do this. Obviously, you can do five eggs at a time with this method of here. That's going to be much faster this way because having this flame body Pokemon here is going to allow all these eggs to hatch in half the time that they normally would. And now all you have to do is go run around until eggs start hatching. This seems completely logical. Running with eggs until one of them hatches. Try it in real life. Do it now. There we go. First egg is ready. What do you think it is? My bet is a... I'm going to go for a Charmander. It's a Charmander, isn't it? Isn't it? It was a Score Bunny. It was close. I mean, 50-50% chance. But yeah, there we go. We have a Score Bunny. Here's the final egg. The final egg. This egg is going to be somewhat interesting. Some people were asking why is the background different sometimes, and that's just because wherever you're standing is weird. And this is a Charmander. So we've got three Charmanders and one Score Bunny. And now you can go ahead and trade these to other people for fun in case they missed, for example, like the Charizard event, or they weren't able to catch a Cinderace during the seven star raid event. You can go ahead and send these Pokemon to those players who, who might need them. It does not count for your Pokedex, so don't worry about that. You don't actually need it. It's more like just, uh, it's nice to have. But I hope this information was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video.